So this is just to build on what Greg really had to say. So some of these are very surgical concepts, but for the most part, these are transferable to whatever short-term medical missions you want to do and how you partner with people who are long-term on the ground. First thing you need to know is that um, you can't save the world. Jesus already did that. He died. Don't try to do something he did. You're not as good as him. <laughs> Philippians 1.21, for, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. If you're going to go short-term, adopt that. Some of the things we're going to talk about today is maybe what not to do. So being the surgeon that I am, what's going to kill you is what we need to rule out first. So these are the things that are going to kill you or kill the people you're working with on a short-term trip. So things you don't pack when you're going. Don't pack your ego. Leave it at home. Really, nobody wants to see it. Probably not even in your house. Don't bring your savior complex. That's specifically for you surgeons in the room. We are not God. Even if maybe other people treat us like that sometimes, especially on short-term trips, you are not. Don't take God's place. Don't be the American stereotype. That's that you know everything, you can fix everything, and you're happy to tell everyone that you know everything and you can fix everything. And they're happy to let you try, even when they know you're going to fail. Uh, paternalism, as Greg said, leave that one at home. But don't go the other side of pity either. Nobody needs your pity. That's, that's not human dignity. That's pity. We don't need pity. Don't be rigid. And don't, don't leave the two-tone printer at home. That's black and white. Everything's black and white. I know the right way or I know the wrong way. There's nothing in between. Because most of the places, if you're going on a short-term mission trip, there's a whole lot of gray. And by the way, in the real world, there is gray. We just like to be very polarized in this country. And so leave that two-tone printer idea at home. What you think it looks like that is black or that it's white or whatever, you're probably wrong and you've misinterpreted. Um, you're getting the clue here that I'm pretty, come on pretty strong at the beginning. Um, I've sp spoken with some of you, Greg's here up front. He knows that I'm not usually that way on individual interactions, but I also know from what Greg has said that a lot of people come and make a mistake, and make, do big things wrong in short-term missions, specifically medically. A uh, brief little story, and then we'll go on to some other things, and that is I was driving one of our short-termers up from the hospital to take him back to his place and, uh, for the night, and he said, oh, Kier, we're glad to be here. We just don't want to be a burden. And I looked at him, and I said, well, it's too late. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. He looked at me very perplexed. I said, well, somebody had to coordinate you getting here. Somebody had to get you at the airport. Somebody had to drive you down here to the hospital. Someone has to translate for you because, oh, you don't speak French. Someone has to coordinate your housing while you're here. You're a burden. But we're glad you're here. And that's okay to be a burden. That's okay. That's one of our American problems is we think we can't ever ask anybody for anything, especially us guys. No, I don't ask directions, and I don't have to anymore. I have GPS now. <laughs> But days gone by, who, who doesn't stop and ask directions? We don't, because we can figure it out. We can do it on our own. That's individualism. You can leave that at home. And in case you're going to be confused, you're going to see this more than once on this, on this little talk today. It's not about you. We got it? Everybody together? Let's say it together. It's not about you. Wow, that was really good. You guys are you're tracking with me. It's not. And we often think it is. And somehow in God's economy and the way he works at the end, it may be about you. But it may be about what God did in you, not what he did through you. Because remember, he already saved the world. You don't need to do that.